All right, so here's that Hyundai Genesis two liter turbo engine that I pulled out that was starved of oil during its life, probably more than once. Um, it's pretty dirty inside, a lot of baked on oil residue. Uh, if you look closely, you can tell that it gets worse the further you go down, the darker it is. I haven't pulled the oil pan off yet. I'll do that in another video, but I'm going to do a whole teardown of this engine so that uh, my viewers can see what happens to an engine when it's uh, run low on oil and the uh, oil interval isn't uh, changed properly. I also noticed um, when I pulled the valve cover off, there's some metallic debris right here all over the top of this valve train. Um, that's like that's the stuff that I witnessed in the uh, engine oil when I pulled the dipstick when this car was uh, attempted to be started after it ran out. Uh, once I saw that, I just told the customer, you need to just have it towed, it's not gonna start again. It didn't have enough compression in there. I don't think there was enough oil anyways for the oil switch to allow the engine to start. But this is it. It's I've taken all the accessories and stuff off. I'm getting it ready for pulling the head and the lower oil pan and taking the block apart. I'll show you guys the uh, the pistons, the bearings, all the stuff inside the cylinder walls, and see uh, exactly what kind of damage was done to this engine. But uh, yeah. So I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to finish up the swap of the 2010 engine in this 2013, which is going pretty well, except for the timing cover on the 2010 engine. Since the parts car was in a wreck, it had a, uh, a cracked pulley support. So I had to steal the timing cover off of that engine, and I'm in the process of swapping it over to this one. I'm just waiting on a, uh, a couple gaskets and a uh, seal for the front crankshaft right there. This was the piece that was broken on the old one. It was cracked all around here. You really couldn't tell and unless you put weight on it because it was a hairline crack. But once I tensioned that belt down, it kept throwing belts off. So eventually figured that out what the cause was. So. Once that's done, we'll put all the rest of this back together. I do know this engine starts, because once I put that belt on, I started it for the first time. It threw the belt off immediately, but it was still running, um, which it will do, but it won't be circulating any coolant or accessories won't be working or anything like that. But you can run it for a few minutes. And it runs, it does run. I didn't have all the intake piping hooked up and, and stuff, so it kind of ran rough. But, um, anyway, that's the update on that, and uh, stay tuned for more videos of this teardown. Thanks for watching.